other folks on the go. So the tow line is reeling out from the, yep. from the reel. You, you should you, you should get off the runway yeah. in case we need to come back, which happens sometimes. Yeah. Right. Sounds like you're popping a cork. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, pull it up. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna close the canopy. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, there it is. There. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the nose may bob up and down as we're getting ready to. Yeah. As we're getting ready to take off. Okay. I'm going to call on the radio. Canopy and air brakes, close and lock, ready to go. I'll set your habit glider and go play the party. So the nose is going to come up and the okay. tail's going to hit, and then we'll see what's if we come back down again. Yeah, well, that worked a little better than normal. So, airspeed's alive. Yep. And. Now we're flying. Here we and go. And you do see everything okay? Yeah. Good. Very nice. So, coming up on 200 feet. And Ron, the way this works is that if there was a problem, we could release and go back and land on the same runway. Right. This took off from, uh, as opposed to a Piper Aero or something where you might want to have six or 700 feet. Yeah. We can do that from a relatively low altitude. That's why um, I wanted Terry off the runway. Right. Because oh, yes, yeah, emergency landing. We, we could. It could be a no time flat. Yeah. Understood. No different world than the powered airplane, but very pleasant. Yeah, I think you're going to like it. Yeah. So we're turning north now, and as we begin to turn west, you see that the airport is really, like I said, right right on the other side yeah. of the tree line is, is the Everglades. Yeah. And the visibility is such that you should be able to see all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, yeah. Down to the Keys and uh, downtown Miami. Miami Beach, Key Biscayne, all of that today. What altitude do you try to release yeah. at? Well, you got the deluxe flight, which is we release above 5,000 feet. Oh, hot. And uh, we, so we've got about 10 minutes or so or right. that we're climbing to get up to that altitude. And it goes slower the higher we get Yeah. as the performance comes down. Okay. So you can see it is kind of like water skiing. We're staying behind the, the yes, tow plane, is. flying kind of formation, you yeah. might say. Yeah, it does nice. I'm, I'm actually surprised how steady and a pleasant pull it is. Right. Yeah, it, it's mainly about making small corrections right away. Yeah. So you see the horizon today. Yeah. Uh, when we're above the clouds, it may be a little tougher to see the horizon, but, you know, because you're a pilot, you're basically, clouds, yeah. we want to fly, there's a certain sweet spot in the speed, so you can kind of get the sight picture of what level it is. We don't want to do real nose high or nose low. Right. Um, our, our best performance is usually about 50 to 55 miles an hour, maybe a little slower at times, huh. but um, that's what we'll do. And, and the, it's really just small corrections right away. Okay. But one thing that's a little different about flying gliders rather than your average Cessna or Piper aircraft is you really do need to use your feet. Yeah. So you see the yarn on the canopy in front of you. Yeah. That's what we call the yaw string. Okay. That's a little bit like the ball, which you also see, but it's more sensitive. Step on the string. So think of the string as an arrow. Yeah. And the part where the tape is is the arrow is the arrowhead, and it's the arrowhead is pointing at the foot you may need to push. But in terms of the pressure, it's like pressure on the brake of a car. It's not a big 
deflection. It's yeah. just a light. You're, yeah. you're, wanting I, to, you're wanting to put minimal correction. Yeah, but yeah. you definitely need to use rudder and turns and yeah. also to keep it. People tend to use too much stick and, yeah. and not enough rudder. And yeah. I tell them, point the nose with your toes. So a little pit, directional corrections you can make. I mean, if, uh, five degrees or less you can make with your feet. You're going to use your stick more for ascend and descend than you are for... Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm going to try and trim it so hopefully you don't need a lot of forward and back pressure. Right. It's just left and right pressure. And you might want to use two hands, brace your forearms on your thighs, and create like a triangle so that you can keep the pressure on uh, when you need it without, you know, you'll have more precise control. Okay. Well, I don't mind letting you do most of the flying. I'm enjoying it as much okay. as anything. Well, well, we'll see how it goes, but yeah. I do want to let you try and fly. Feel it. Yeah. Um, early right after we get off toe that's the best oh, time because okay. it's smoother up at altitude yeah and uh you got more you got more space to work with exactly, exactly. I, I understand that well <laughs> so down low is not you know when no. so sometimes people say can i try it now and we're two thousand feet and any you know if they're not flying carefully you're on the yeah, yeah. We're, we end up uh, all right. So to remind you how we do the release, I'm going to pull the red handle. It may go bang. Yeah. Or it may go thump. I won't get worried. And and we want to verify that the rope falls away. Yeah. And then we'll do a, a fairly steep right hand turn. Okay. And the first thing we do is where is the airport? We want to know, especially when it's Yeah. Real how real far way. we are from the airport. Yeah. And and what direction and all of that. Yeah, I expect it takes a while to get used to your distances and yeah, vibrations. Yeah, you know, but it's, I would say, a normal part of training. You, by the time you're ready to solo, yeah. you, you've got it figured out. You better have a pretty good, <laughs> better have a pretty good. Uh, well, yeah, the first solo is usually a pattern toe, so you're okay. right over the airport. Oh, okay. So there's all, it's easy to get back, but, you know, by the time, usually by then you're, you're well prepared. Yeah. They won't sign you off until you're ready. Well, that's a call. Okay, coming up on 5,000 feet. Yep. So I'm going to do like a little up and down movement. Okay. Take some of the slack off the rope. Okay. And, and I'm not going to release until I'm on the way back down. All right. So I'll okay. do that in just, just another little second here. Okay, so here's our up, going up, and then and back down. There's our release, and we are this away. Yep. And up and over we go. Uh -huh. Sweet turn. Boy, these things are different right now. And very nice. I don't see the airport, but I think it's right on the other side of that. Yeah, corner. I think it's right there. We're not very yeah. far. Nope. But we will go a little bit that way for a second here. A little bit south. Just to confirm. Yeah. And I'm going to trim it up. And that's it at about 11 o'clock or am I? Uh, uh, it's about well, okay, I 10 o'clock. There I you see go. It right there. So, okay. basically, this is the sight picture. I've got it trimmed as, as far back as it'll go. Right. And that seems like it'll, that's the toe plane. Yep. That's so I right. think that today the winds aloft are very light and variable. Right. So we're not going to worry too much about that. You're going to need to use a little back pressure, just a small amount. Why don't you go ahead and follow on the stick. Okay. And brace your forearms, use two hands. Yep. And you see the horizon off there in the distance yep. and you're flying. You have the controls. So just keep flying straight first, okay? okay? okay. First, all we're going to do is hold the same pitch attitude and keep the wings level. Yeah. And you'll get a chance to rest. So I'm going to stretch you out a little bit yeah. for, for a minute or two here and let you uh, get the feel of it. And you're doing great. And you're right. I tried to use the stick instead of pedal. I feel right. Like. So, yeah. so you're, I can tell already you're not going to have any trouble. 
So let's try a little bit, about a 45 degree turn to the right. Yeah. Here we go, we're clear to the right. We're gonna turn about 45 degrees. Uh, and I'll tell you to diet and begin to roll the wings level. Roll the wings level. Use a little opposite rudder to stop yeah. the turn. And uh -huh. there you go. Wings level. Perfect. There you go. Your pitch is very good. And we're like zero sink right now. Yeah. So we're kind of, you can go ahead and keep turning to the right. Okay. So we don't fly too far away from yeah. the airport. And we'll look down and. Just a little down, right? Yeah, you not, not too much. You really don't right. need to look. You should just keep okay. it level. All right. We don't need to accelerate. It's unlike an airplane. Yeah. It's it's really designed to turn. You can almost turn level. Yeah. And okay. Let's continue a right hand turn right. so we don't end up in that cloud. Yep. All right. All right. Continue. Don't don't keep the nose up a little yeah. bit higher. Yeah. Right there. Right about there. Yeah. So you, we want to pitch. It's for about 55. What's it? Oh, okay. 55 miles an hour. And we can go this way a little bit if you want. That's okay. Maybe, that little gap, maybe go to the right or the left over there. Well, yeah, just keep wings level now okay. so we're not in the cloud. Okay. And we'll get on the other side of that cloud so yeah. it's not a problem. A little further right. Yep, yeah, okay. Further right. All right. Go out and want to use the stick big time. You're right. to keep everything, but it's very well, use your feet. relatively wonderful. Use your yep, feet. yep, yep. And raise the nose a little bit. Okay. Yep. That's yep. good right there. Yep. It is it is very sensitive. But yeah. But it has a huge impact. Our airspeed and pitch attitude has a huge huge impact on how long we stay. Yes, I understand that. So use your feet, kind of pick a point on the horizon, and put pressure on both feet. Okay. And as you want to turn, oh, yeah. you, want, you okay. just put more pressure on one or the yeah. other. Okay. 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 So, so okay. kind of, so the nose should be kind of fixed at a point. Yeah. And and you just correct with the stick to adjust for the bank change. Okay. There you go. Good. Okay. You're flying. You're it's good. nice. I tell you. It's a whole lot quieter. <laughs> yeah, well, some of the better high-performance gliders are very well sealed. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah. It's much quieter. Understood. But this thing uh, leaks, the back canopy leaks oh, yeah. air a lot. All right, the 55. You may feel a little bit of burble on the tail. Yeah. And that's okay. That's pretty much, much normal. Yeah, that's a nice... Uh, so let's turn to the right now. Okay. Clear right, we're turning right. We don't want to overfly the airport, get blown down wind. The general right. winds keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Okay. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Go back to east. Okay. Um, because we there are some winds out of the southeast today. Okay. So we're trying to kind of not go too far downwind. We do like, and this lets you keep looking around and I think the view is nicer in this direction. But you just keep turning. Okay. Keep turning. So the whole, hold it in the cloud area here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Beautiful day. It is. It's gorgeous out. So I'm going to take it for a second. I'm going to let you, you take go right ahead. Out of the controls. You go ahead. I'm going to see about maybe getting us over to this cloud here. Okay. Um, I want. I find it's good to let people take a little breather. Yes, it is. Um, to kind of process what they were doing. So right now, look at the stick. Notice it's, I'm almost not moving it at all. Right. I just, I got both feet on the pedals. I'm kind of letting it go yep. straight towards this cloud. Now, yes. most of the time we find lift under the clouds. Oh. Okay. So that's why I'm headed ah, for the okay. clouds. And, and I'm looking for a kind of flat bottom 
that yep. may indicate um, air going fairly fast and going from like this right here condensing very quickly so when it's yes that like that you would good. see there 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 yeah, yeah. We're, hopefully we're going to get it we're going to start under the cloud here and maybe fly underneath okay. the cloud for a bit all right yeah it's hard to get to where you see it you know where you can a little adjust very very little adjustment like all things, you can feel it out. And so we're in some shade now, which is nice. Yeah. And we may it may get a little bumpier as we uh, find some lift. That's one of the telltales is yeah. uh, when we, we feel a little rougher yeah. air. Yeah. That's an indication that there's some rise in there. So Very nice. I have a feeling it's going to be right over here. Also, Ron, if you see any birds, please let me know. Oh, yes, I will. Or, or aircraft. Air, aircraft, birds, all, 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 that. all important things. I do understand watching for those. So I'm going to give it back to you, and, let, and I'm just going to give you some, you have the control. So I'm going to begin a circle, because this seems like a pretty good thermal right yeah. here. Nice. Amazing the turn. Using stick and rudder, yeah. yeah. You gotta fly coordinated because yeah. we're, we're a lot of times we're just above a stall. Right. But that didn't result in any altitude gain, unfortunately. Yeah, well. this a while. You're good at it. Well, we're still going down more than oh, we're yeah. going up. Oh, yeah. You know. But every I mean, day, every day in flight is different. I, this is not my favorite glider. I, I have to confess. Well, I like the other one more. I can understand. The other one floats a little better. Okay. This wants, this is actually better performing yeah. uh, if you're going cross country, but, huh. but it doesn't we want you to be a better pilot, I think. Yeah. In terms of uh, and stronger lift. Do you often take them to you know like ten thousand something like that? For... Out west, it's a lot different. The lift is stronger. Right. You get you get to you know up to almost eighteen thousand feet a okay. lot of times, and you get mountain wave and oh, ridge yeah. soaring and yes. all that kind of diverse diverse types of soaring. Here it's all mostly just thermals. Occasionally we'll get a, a front, right. a frontal wave. Oh, I bet that's great. Yeah, and that's that's really fun. I right? thought about that. I know that's a blast. Where the the, de the cooler dense air will drive the warmer moist air up, and you can ride that along the edge of the front. Yeah, and uh, get above the cloud base. I've had a couple flights like that. Really. Spectacular. It's a very comfortable flight, really. So if you want to fly again, I'm happy to let you. I I enjoyed it. I'm glad I did it a little bit. Okay. You're doing such a fine job. It'll last longer with you flying than me flying. I, you never <laughs> know. I, I don't know. If I don't, if I don't catch to see some birds, I'm not sure. There's one off. But now I'm beginning to see a cloud streak, so okay. Yeah, I think I see where we might, the direction that we need to go to uh, get a little low. Yeah. yeah, so I see now, this is kind of, kind of see a, a, a line of clouds that are uh, pointed upwind. It's... Well, get back up in the air again makes me want to get back up in the air again. You, you don't have the plane any longer? Or? No, I've, I sold it two years ago, and, and I haven't flown since. Um, time, to, time to get back in it. Well, you know, one of the things about, did you ever keep the boat in the Bahamas and fly back and forth? Oh, well, yeah, that's the reason. I ah. used the plane more for that than I did anything. Well, that's a great use for it, I tell yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I went like two years without. 
flying it back and forth. Now I'm ready. Well, just flying around. I, I took my dad, flew around the country a couple of times. Uh, nice. I've been retired since I was 45, so hell. That's good. I'm hoping, hoping I can retire soon. Yeah, I have plenty of time to play. I'm building a... Uh, a kid playing a, a, a Vans RV12, oh. and uh, when I retire, I'm going to tow it in a trailer around the country oh, and, yeah. um, and fly try to it. fly it all over the different yeah, places. Yeah, instead of that's a that, great way. Yeah, I, I, it's not that I thought of it. I, I encountered a guy that was doing it with his kid fox in a in a camper van, and and uh, that inspired me oh, to okay. uh, to do that. I had a Cessna 180 and a Cessna 152, and, you know, I always thought I was going to fly it out west, but, <laughs> you know, it, it just, it, it's just a well, lot I've been, of hours just to get uh, out there. Yes, yeah, I did, I did like six weeks each time. I'd go all the way up to Seattle. I had a brother in oh, Seattle. perfect, yes. And then uh, down the coast. And That's exactly where I would go. That's I, it's, it's, it is just so enjoyable to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm headed to Seattle in July for a, a conference for work, and then I'll be, but I, I like that part of the country a lot. It is. It's a gorgeous, uh, you said San Juan's. Last year yes. we did Alaska, and and San Juans for a week before we did the cruise to Alaska. I'll take the San Juans. Yeah. Don't do Alaska. Okay. Unless you're going to take your plane up and fly there. Well, right? I, I, my brother used to live near Anchorage, and I, I have done some flying in Alaska. That would be pretty. Yeah. You now, see? if I flew up there, I'd, I'd like to. But on a ship, forget Oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I, was gonna t I was thinking about taking the ferry. I had a friend that was flying a float plane for tourists um, huh. in um, Ketchikan. Yeah. And so I was going to take the ferry up and fly with him a little bit, but it didn't work out. Maybe someday. I, I really need to retire is the whole thing. I, yeah. And does she like flying? She loves flying okay. and sailing. Okay, that's perfect. Usually, you're a lucky man. What yeah. can I tell you? Yeah, I, I am. I, I'm very fortunate. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing a 172 again, something of that nature. Yeah, that's a sensible airplane. <laughs> you can carry it Eco and stuff. Economic. You're not in a hurry. You're right. just you're wanting to put around the country. So we're mostly going up now. I don't know if you noticed. That. I I've been watching. You're very. Uh, so we're under this cloud street. You know, everybody's smart enough to know that the, the good pilots know. <laughs> well, you know, my boss, Steve, yeah. he thinks I, I, I can't fly this thing. So I got to kind of every now and then stay up a little longer. Ah, so yeah. He, so yes, he thinks I, like I, it. I still know how to fly. So. I like it. But I haven't had much as much luck in this as I did in the Blanic. The Blanic, I could keep that thing up in the air with with almost nothing. But That's nice. This one's a little tougher. Way aerodynamic. There are so many things to them that are very comfortable. So we're about running out of lift on that way, so we'll go yep. back the way we just came. Yep. And this is a cloud street. This is kind of a fun thing because you don't really need to do too much turning. Right. You fly in a straight line. For, yeah. you, know, you get more of a chance to actually use your lift because yes. every time you turn, you're taking Right, away. exactly. It's more efficient yeah. going straight. Yeah. So we're headed back oh, yeah. above three. Yeah, great. Yeah. So we, you know, I've done a lot of five-hour flights. Huh. Um, Treasure Coast is, is like that. They get similar conditions yeah. to us. Yeah, so do. And they'll get the frontal, frontal waves also. I know there's a number of these sitting out at North County there in Palm Beach, too. Well, I used to, I've flown a couple times gliders. They used to have a glider operation, but they had a collision with a helicopter ah. years ago. They had a couple of Krosnos gliders that were very nice, nice flying gliders. Yeah. Not super high performance, but well suited to the Florida flying conditions. Right. And, but they had a really a tragic accident where they, uh, a helicopter, I think, doing auto rotation. That's when I left there. There were so many little helicopters all over that place. I went, I'm yeah. out of here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I can understand that. I've 
forgotten what a, a uh, helicopter hive that has become. The, uh, the, the Robertson R-22 and yeah, and, R-44. Uh, R-44, yeah. We did that one year for her birthday. Okay. <laughs> did so, one up, up remind me, is this your first time in a glider? First time in a glider yeah. ever. Well, so the, what I tell people is now you believe you don't need an engine to fly. I, I agree. You do not. <laughs> so, because we're, uh, you know, we're above, back above 3,000 feet yeah, now. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing amazing. And the thing that you can learn from this, truthfully, Ron, is if you're flying a Cessna or a Piper yes. and you want to climb up to your cruise, there's places, if you fly Look. under the clouds, you're going to get the lift that will yes. help you climb a lot faster yeah. than if you're between the clouds where they're sink. Yeah, you use, I, you use it right, you'll get the lift. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to, I flew a Piper Cadets when I was oh, doing yeah. my training on the fixed gear. And, you know, I flew arrows a few times for, to get my uh, commercial. Right. But um, those things did not climb so well, and <laughs> especially on a hot day with full oh, fuel. Oh, gosh. Oh, and yeah. So using the, the natural lift on a hot day really helped you uh, climb a lot better. I had a little help at, at uh, altitude because I had the turbo, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. The, the turbo to me, I just never wanted anybody else involved in the plane because if you aren't particularly careful, you can cause a lot of problems. So, yeah, I mean, I, it's like kind of like sailing. It is. And, 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 you know, they call them sailplanes. Yes. And uh, when you get a, a, a blast ship, you can really go easily, you know, 100 miles is a, is a short flight in a high-performance glider. That's and, fun. And, you know, well, the, what we used to have a glider club down here, and we would fly um, almost to Naples on a good day. Right. And uh, back and forth across the Everglades. And, and you, but you need to have the performance. You can get yourself out of trouble if you have to. Oh, yeah. excitement in a plane. I lost the engine on the arrow in, uh, uh, where the hell was it? Well, I ended up in Sheridan, Wyoming. Was At the, an airport? was or? the closest airport. Okay. It was 14 miles away. I was at 9,500 feet. Uh, yeah. You know, I had, uh, had solder wall blow out in one of the cylinders. Oh, boy. Uh, and, you know, your first thought is, is oh, man, I'm screwed because I'm going to be out in the middle of nowhere. Best mechanic shop I've ever been to. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of out of that lift band now. Oh, now yeah. 2000. Yeah. yeah. Can't be up here forever, can we? Uh, Let's see if we'll get a counter. Looking at the airport, looks like they're staging to launch. So. Uh. I'm not going to be rushing down. Just right. let them take off and yep. clear the runway. Homestead traffic got a glider 2,200, about a mile and a half north of Homestead General. So downtown Miami and Miami Beach. Oh yeah. Well, I think I think my wife scored well. She, she made my day. That's great. Well, it's a long drive. I it is. It is. I hope you know, we try, we try to make it worthwhile. Well, you know, actually, it is. This is a nice spot to do this. Let's turn back and maybe yep. we can watch the other. Yeah, I'll be up. interested in your approach on these. Well, it's, it's you don't get a lot of choice, a lot of chances. Here. It's not so different than a, a right. power aircraft. We fly the same rectangular pattern, right. except we'll do it 
Um, we'll do it closer into the airport. Okay. Within gliding distance, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense for some reason. I don't know. We want to be within gliding. Oh, yes. Yes. In case the engine starts or something. <laughs> Actually, there are a lot of gliders now that have a self-launch or a sustainer capability. Really? But they always say that you want to assume that it isn't going to start. Right. So, you know, you, you what want to What do they use? Here. They use either an electric or a small, like, 30, 40 horsepower gasoline engine. Oh, okay. I mean, there's all different kinds. Right. But, Try to put, I was just trying to figure what, what you would put a turbine. A turbine or well, a... Well, some of them have jets, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, the, the, I think the electric is going to make it a lot uh, more interesting. Yeah, that does so. They'll yeah. have some with what's called an FES uh, uh, front electric sustainer. Oh, okay. And some of them, uh, may, as the battery technology gets better, okay. may even... Okay. Some can do self-launch. Right. And... Uh, just having a sustainer is nice, so you yes. can get an extra, oh, I'm up and I want to boost myself another, yeah. yeah. So the, I see the other gliders rolling now. Yep. So we will not have have to dodge them on the runway. That's always a good thing. And maybe we'll we'll fly by them on their way up. Oh, yeah. That's always kind of nice to get them yep. that perspective. Sounds like a good More people should try this. Yeah. I, I am. Well, you know, I think when Terry's birthday comes. Oh. We're here. She'll definitely be up. She may not even get the weight. Just don't. Well, I hope her what, what month is her birthday? February. Okay. It's so, a good month for it. Yeah, yeah. But not August. Don't, 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 no. don't fly gliders. July, yeah. August, September. Not, not when they're in the heat of the, yeah. Yeah, no, no fun. No, thank you. I don't even fly a plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, although the hottest place I ever, ever been into, you know, I, I went around the country the one time we were having the heat spell. That was terrible. But we landed, uh, I landed on the east side of the mountains before Seattle. Oh, yeah. Bad mistake. Bad mistake. 105 degrees on the tarmac. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I was, I, have, I was having the jockey to get the wheels up when I took off. I, I um, took my my ex-wife flying um, in Aurora, Oregon, oh. down the Willamette Valley oh, in, a, uh, in a katana, diamond katana, which yeah. is kind of like a like a glider and it was they had a temperature inversion it was a hot over 100 oh, degrees yeah. and she had a panic she'd been used to flying in the cessna oh, where yeah. we had some shade uh -huh. and she got in that bubble and in, in, in that heat and was she did not want to go and uh, uh, well, it was not too bad once we got airborne but um it's it can be hot out west that's so i see that we're gonna kind of yeah go ahead to we're headed, we're headed back down now, but um, yep. at least we'll get a little peek at them oh, yeah. on the way back down. So that's very there they go. Yeah. Kind of point the nose. At, very nice. Yeah, they're, they're not, sometimes they'll turn back towards us. Right. Here, Just right depends here. on cloud. Yeah. They're not doing that today. I uh, think he's searching for that big opening over there. Understandable. So we're kind of, we're going to end up landing on runway 9 right. and we'll do a gap, conventional downwind and okay. um, base turn and final. What we do is we go faster in order to uh, have a little more maneuverability and fit in better with the power traffic. Understandable. And we're going up again. <laughs> You know, 
know, it's little oh, yeah. puffs here and there. Yeah. It gets to be too much of a grind, at, you know, down low altitude in the, in the heat. Well, yeah, you're trying, yeah, you're trying to maneuver on an airport. It doesn't do you a whole lot of good. And we're, we're down closer to the traffic pattern down there, yep. so it's not as safe as it is higher up. Correct. Very nice. Although that's some pretty strong stuff. So. Yeah, you're getting some. Let's do one turn right here, just to, <laughs> in case we. We're just gonna check out, see if there's any traffic here. Yep. Learn a little bit of the altitude. And... Yeah, this is a nice spot out here to fly from. Yeah, we're really lucky that the. Uh, this is kind of like the last bastion of fun flying between the parachuters and there's they have paramotors. Oh yeah. The pa paramotors flyers are out here in the morning, early in the day, and, and then you get the helicopters in yeah. Orange County. It's, was was a great place because just off of it you had the blades out there. But you doing okay? Huh? I'm doing fine. Okay. I'm just gonna let it climb a little bit here just in, there's oh there's the other glider you want let's, let's let's fly with them there he is a lot closer so we'll we'll circle with them in just a second okay we're gonna turn back we want to fly the circles in the same direction okay you don't mind. I don't. I'm and enjoying. It's kind of fun. Listen, I'm, I'm all for it. It's... I'm not sure who's flying, but... <laughs> I want to get a, get them in my gun sights. Here. There you go. I think, I think they're, they're, they're climbing now and we're not. Yep. So. so we do the in contests. You do this. You'll okay. thermal, you'll get a bunch of gliders, maybe right. twenty or thirty, doing, doing the, using the same thermal. Oh yeah. Actually, probably helps sometimes. But we're going to go ahead and land. I just yeah. wanted to get them on camera. No, that was great. All right, so we're headed I like in. It. Here we go. We're going to do a little bit of um, accelerated okay. stuff here. Oh, we're still going up though. It's, it's amazing. There's really yeah. strong lift here. That's the air brakes. Okay. Those are your okay little flaps there. I see that. Nice. So we come down pretty quick if we need to. Yeah, that's amazing. And most of the traffic got a glider landing runway nine to a front street. We've got a pretty uh, light crosswind now from the right on land, right. so we want to take that into account. Yep. Same procedure on crosswinds on this, I'm sure. Yeah. Just a little less dip than you would on a... So I 
I use the air brakes like a throttle, Ron. Right. To kind of control the rate of descent. And right. we want to be going faster, so we have, as we get lower, we have more maneuverability and, and more a little more, you know, we can always slow up right. and hang out a little longer if we need to. Yeah. But our approach speed in this is about 70 to 75. Okay. I'm going to take it pretty far down the runway okay. so that we don't have to, we leave the runway clear for right. the next glider. Next glider. And I was wondering, I, I thought, you know, that's going to stage them pretty close. Yeah, you know, we don't need that much uh, distance to right. land in, but we'll go far, we'll go at least to midfield, maybe a little farther. Yeah. And I'm kind of crabbing, you can tell. Yep. And there's a bump in the runway in which we hit. So, well, it happens. I hope you enjoyed that. It was very nice. Very good. Well, and I have to thank Terry for well, yeah. a card, birthday present there. Yeah. And I see you got your seat on off the screen. Excellent.